Dirt Guys and Gals, Rob here with Deluxe Gaming, and welcome back to Mad Games Tycoon. We're now at episode 19, and we are reaching, we're entering another new era of game development. We have, our servers are pushing almost 2 million people on them, and uh, yes, so I, I have kind of confirmed it, so the subscription, it's, it's $5 per month. I thought it was per week, but it's $5 per month. Even so, at 2 million people on our servers, that's $10 million a month, that's $120 million a year, just for nothing. Like, I mean, after the game's built and everything's said and done, it's basically for nothing. So, I mean, that's pretty amazing. We're gonna start marketing our new game that's coming up, Star Slammer, which is gonna be a smash hit. It's gonna be huge. It's our first AAA game. So yeah, our first AAA game is gonna be coming out in a very short period of time. Uh, let's make sure that we are doing some project coordination. Uh, let's do it with our motion capture because motion, motion capture often takes a little bit longer than other things. We might as well get... We, you know what? So we, we still have Ooga Woof Egg, which is, which is our MMO. Then we've got an add-on Ooga Woof Egg Barks A Lot, which is the add-on for Ooga Woof Egg, of course. Now, Ooga Woof Egg Barks A Lot is selling quite nicely. I think we could probably pull off another 500,000 copies of that as long as we do some updates for it. So let's do another 500,000 copies of that, just be so I don't forget. Let's do another update for that. Ooga Woof Egg barks a lot. But uh, I kind of goofed with Ooga Woof Egg. Um, Ooga Woof Egg, we have 819,000 copies left and it's we're selling 22,000 a week. There is no way that we're gonna sell through. So I had an idea. Let's remark. Let's change our pricing, price and packaging for Ugu Egg. You know what? Let's bring the price right down. It doesn't matter how much we sell it for. We just want to get people on our servers, right? So let's bring it down to ten bucks. That should that should improve things, I think. Ten bucks per copy. Um, you know, what? we'll take the deck out of it. Oh, we can't. We can't. Okay, that's fine. We can't. We can't change what's in the box but we can bring the price rate down which means it's going to affect our profit per coffee poppy but who cares about that because we just want to get people on our servers also Ufu, Ugu Wolf egg barks a lot you know let's bring the price of that down too it's really expensive for an add-on i guess it's, if you think about like world of warcraft they used to do this kind of the same thing until they went free to play once upon a time you used to have to pay for add-ons remember that remember those days so now we've lowered the price of both of those that should increase the amount that we're selling of each wow we're up to 112,000 of that one you know what we'll even do another update for Ugu Wolf Egg. We want a Barks a lot. We want to really pump that out because we just got to get people on the servers. We got to get them hooked. It's like, I don't know. It's like a weird, yeah, I don't know. It's like a weird drug deal deal where they're like, you get the first one for free. I don't know. It's weird to bring up drugs, but <laughs> you, you know what I'm saying? Like you just, we just want to get people hooked on the game. We don't care how much they they spend at first, as long as they pay the five dollars subscription fee for per month. Sorry, I can't talk. I'm I'm all peas today. <laughs> That's okay. But yeah, you know what I mean. Like we just gotta get them hooked on the game. Now, as far as Smash the Rocks, bro, we've almost sold through of that game. Actually, we did very well on that. I'm pretty impressed. Um, but we're gonna take that off the market very very soon, and soon we're gonna be done. Star Slammer. Star Slammer is going to make us. That is gonna make us some money we need to build our next console. The next console we want to make is going to be a handheld console, but it's going to cost us $339 million for the state-of-the-art state version. Yeah, that's that's really ridiculous. Um, I'm going to research a couple topics here because I had some ideas. Let's do... Um, our next game is going to be a puzzle game, so I figured let's do a variation on a popular puzzle game. Something... I mean, we need more sure things, right? So fruit... Haha! Uh, if you can... If you guys probably know where I'm going. There is a popular fruit game um, that... Uh, and I'm sure you've probably already guessed what it's going to be about. But of course, we're going to name it something fun, something different anyway. And now once that's done, you know what I think we're going to do? We're going to go research topics and we're going to automatically automatically research everything. Absolutely everything. We're going to research everything. Um, <laughs> it's going to take a while and it's going to cost, I don't know, probably it'll cost maybe, maybe, what, uh, 10 th million, like million five? No, I mean, at this point, that's peanuts, right? So, but the point is that'll keep our research department busy and uh, yeah, give them something to do. I think that's really important. Otherwise, they might get bored. We don't want them to get bored, right? Uh, contracts. We can start working on contracts, too, as well. Get all those contracts finished off. Um, and make a few million dollars on that. That will cover the cost of researching all of the different topics, too, as well. Okay, Star Slammer, we're... Uh, hype is almost maxed out. Okay, let's go. Are we going... Yeah, we're going max speed. Wow. <laughs> to build these AAA games, it takes a lot of work. And it takes a long time, too, as well. Okay, so... Oh, 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 oh. Ah, man. Wow, dude. We are... We started selling Ugu of Egg Barks a lot 
really quickly after we lowered that price. So we actually started going into the negative there. We ran out of copies. I didn't think that would happen. And we might even sell through down to about 300,000 of Ubu of Ag now, but look at, we've got 2.72 people, million people on the servers now. That's all that matters. I kind of, yeah, I kind of missed, dropped the ball with, with Barks a lot there, but that's okay. Um, we're going to start moving the servers over so we can add another server. I think we might even get up to 4 million people on our servers. Oh, it's brilliant. That's brilliant. And this isn't even a good game. I mean, it's it's 81%. I mean, it could have been way better. 81% is kind of average for us at this point. Most of our games at this point have been, you know, high 80s or 90s. So to get an 81% game, I mean, it's all right, but it's... It's, it's definitely not as good as our 97. We've had a 97%. Oh, wow. Yeah, we're still selling 52,000 copies of Ugu Woof Egg Barks a lot. That's after lowering the price. Lowering the price is actually a pretty good tactic if you've got lots of extra copies. We might even lower the price even more. You know what? Let's do it. Let's lower the price even more on Ugu Woof Egg. We just... You know what? I, I don't want to... I don't want to take a loss. We will break even... Oh, that's as low as it'll go. Low as it'll go. Okay, let's do that. Down to $9. We're making $1 per copy. That's okay. If we can get rid of those copies, all, it, all that matters is getting people on the servers. Get them hooked. Get them hooked, right? Get them hooked. Uh, we made $461,000 on Moon Rocks that somebody else developed. Who cares? What's $500,000? I mean, it still matters. It, that basically pays the wages for a month. So, I mean, that's a good thing, right? Um, yeah, it's really good. I think what we're going to have to do, we're going to have to make some changes with our customer service to our department here. Um, our, custom, our people, our fans, we've got 300,000 fans that are not happy. We need, they say we need more staff. So what we're going to do is we're going to kill this training room we no longer need it anymore i don't think we're gonna kill that training room we are going to build a new customer service room customer support and like so we're gonna put a door right here and we're gonna move the we're gonna pause it here we're gonna move the desk we're just gonna move everything move everything over sure um and including the people <laughs> look at look at how they kind of sit in midair that's kind of cool actually he's like uh where'd my desk go <laughs> <laughs> That'd be so weird. You're like sitting there and all of a sudden your desk is gone. You fall to the ground. It's like, uh, that's not normal. That's not right either. Weird. Okay, so let's add another desk in here. We're going to have to hire somebody new. Um, let's also, let's zoom out just a little bit and start moving on. Like they've got a garbage can. We'll move that over. Sure. We've got their radiator. Let's move that over. Yeah, let's move that over. Uh, we could keep the radiator there, but that's not necessary. Let's move their file cabinet over. Make sure it's facing the right direction. There we go. And of course, their ceiling fan. And we'll just get rid of this room. I don't, uh, well, you know what? We we might even have to use this room as well. Who knows? We might need even more customer service. So maybe, maybe we'll have to add another whole room and we will change, we'll move this task to the other office here. So now we've, we're gonna have three people. We're gonna hire another person. Hire staff. Uh, we, we hire so many pe uh, people almost every almost every episode. We hire new people. It's crazy how many people we have in our office now. I wonder. I, I wonder if it gives me a tally. I'm sure we're probably sitting at around 30 people. I think 30 people approximately. A lot of people anyway. There is a lot of people working in this office. So did that make a difference? Um, doesn't appear so. We might have to make use of this office too as well. Add even more desks and more people. Okay, desks. Let's add two more white desks. Can we fit maybe three desks in here? I don't think we can. Let's see, we go one, two, three. We can actually add three desks in there. Interesting. But it doesn't really look right, does it? You know, I I, I just, I can't, I can't do that. That doesn't look right. Um, so let's get rid of one of these desks. Yep. And sort of put these back the way they were. I think the, I don't think there's a good way to put the desks in a room of this size, but that's okay. So we can hire a couple more people. Oh, now our fans are happy. Hey, there we go. Okay, so we'll just hold off doing anything else with the customer service room. We will add more people as we see fit. But until then, as long as our fans are happy, they're happy as long as we have. So I guess we, we need one person per 100,000 fans. That's that's crazy. Okay, so we're down to 12,000 copies. we got to produce more. Let's produce another... 100,000. It looks like the amount that we're selling per week of Ugu Woof Egg Barks a Lot is coming down. So I don't, I don't want to go too crazy, but hey, we've sold down to 445,000 of, of the original. So that's pretty good. And we're up to 2.94 million. Can we break that 3 million mark? I think we can. I think we'll be able to break that mark. No problem. Smasher Rocks, bro. I think you're done. We've sold off most of it. Actually, it's pretty good. We're going to take game from the market. Smasher Rocks, bro. And you're done. Done black dinner. Uh, let's turn our project coordination now towards the main development office because that still has a long way to go 
and it looks like it's slow going because this is a triple a game like but look at the numbers we're getting here so gameplay of, uh, we're already at 6500 uh graphics at 55 uh sound at like 57 and technology almost 6000 that's pretty amazing actually and we're not even we're 74 percent done that's pretty amazing we're almost done with our motion capture we're almost done with our graphics almost done with our gameplay stuff it but we have 1500 bugs on the game uh okay so let's get our second development team working on bugs it's probably a really good idea where is our okay there he is is that deluxe it is deluxe deluxe get in here awesome perfect <laughs> perfect so yeah we're we're starting to whip through those bugs too as well uh this game is going to be the biggest hit we've had yet i'm sure of it i don't know if we're gonna well i don't know it is a triple a game maybe maybe we won't sell as much i don't know I think we're going to make a couple hundred million off of Star Slammer. That it will be enough to pay for our next console. So, Oogawoo Fag is now, we're now making about $15 million per month on Oogawoo Fag just for the servers. Like, just to keep the servers open. It doesn't matter how many copies we sell, really, at this point, um, in ter like, in terms of making money. Oh, sure, let's do a large booth. First time we've been able to do a large booth. Oogawoo Fag will feature, Oogawoo Fag barks a lock parks a lot this is a tongue twister sort of um and then star slammer our newest game and of course we'll throw a deluxe box in there not that it matters deluxe box is a dead console but we're still selling a thousand a week there's still people are still developing games for it so you know we'll just keep it on the market until until such time as we can't till we develop a new console right so we might as well um oh let's get you guys working on removing those bugs we still got 1300 bucks to get rid of yeah maybe we'll change project coordination now We'll cancel coordination. We'll go project coordination towards removing bugs. So that's great. Increasing the speed by 50%. That's substantial. We're not quite ready to release. We just got to, got to get rid of those bugs. Look at how quick they're going now. We'll whip through those thousand in no time. Ah, oh, spaceships, gangster. We're, we're whipping through all of the research too as well. This is going to be a good game. I have a feeling this is going to be a really good game. So, Oogawoo Fag Barks A Lot is pretty much dead. We'll let it kind of die off completely. We're still selling a couple hundred copies of Oogawoo Fag. We never did break that 3 million mark, which is really unfortunate. We could do an add-on for it, but no. I want to do a brand new MMO. I want to do a free-to-play game. It's time to do a free-to-play game. We have not done that yet, so I'm pretty excited to give that a shot. So, almost done. Bugs are done. Let's release our game, Star Slammer! It's showing a city here, but it should be space. <laughs> Okay, Star Slammer. Ah, oh, we didn't quite break the market on gameplay, but we did on graphics and we did on sound. Not quite on technology. We're going to self-produce that game. We'll give ourselves one week. We're going to include all of the basic stuff and we're going to charge, we're going to charge $31 for this. $31 and we'll give them a pen. No, not a t-shirt, a pen. Yeah, there we go. We're going to make $20 profit per copy. Uh, we got experience for prison, space stations, Pony game station, and strategy. And prison... Big bucks, big bucks, big bucks, big bucks. Oh, wow. Achievement unlocked. We just got an I just got an achievement for 100%. Are you kidding me? Our game is 100%. Oh, hallelujah. We got 100% on the game, guys. Holy crap. The graphics are great. They're the best I've seen in some time. The sound is the best I've ever heard. This is a new standard in sound. The def controls define per 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 perfection. These are the best controls I've seen in a game. The game shows its strengths during gameplay. Well done. The game is a smash hit. A real candidate for game of the year. Good genre combination. Graphics. Sound. Package contents. We got game of the month. We got fun award. And 100%. 100%. I'm trying to digest that in my brain. We got 100%. Wow, that is crazy. Um, we need to produce a lot of this game. We're gonna produce, I don't know, let's start off with three million. Three million copies off the bat. Uh, that is insane. I don't even know what to say. That's the first time I've ever seen, and I got a Steam achievement to lock up for that too as well, which is kind of cool. I don't know if you guys saw it or not, but that's the first time I've seen 100% of anything in this game. That is crazy. 250 some thousand copies sold in the first month, we barely had enough to even co cover that right away. That is insane, man. That's madness. Okay, let's get our teams back in their offices. We've got some things that I need to do. We're going to update our, hold on, let's uh, stop automation here. I just wanna be sure that we don't have any features that we can research. No, okay, let's go back. You guys can continue research. Let's update our engine, our Puzzles++ Plus Plus engine with all of the new features that we have now. Perfect, it's gonna cost us 500,000. Who cares about that? Like seriously, at this point, we're gonna do our game report on on our first 100% game. Uh, Yeah. Oh, 
We can't do it yet. Oh, sorry. This is completed game report. Silly me. Silly me. 100% on Star Slammer. People love the idea of a prison space, space space station game. That's amazing. That's amazing. We're still selling. We're almost selling 300,000 copies per week. That's madness. Our, our factory's barely keeping up with it. That is insane. Okay, we're going to develop a new game right away. Right off the bat. First topic is going to be, you guessed it, fruit. Second topic is going to be, you guessed it, ninjas. You know where I'm going with this. Our main genre is going to be puzzle, subgenre, skill, with the engine, puzzle plus, 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 plus. Target audience is adult, and this is going to be a AAA game, but it's going to be free to play. First free to play game that we've ever done. I'm really excited to do that too as well. And we're going to call this um fruit oh no 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 silent oh no 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 sneaky sneaky <laughs> sneaky fruit assassin dudes online <laughs> sneaky fruit assassin dudes online i love it this is going to be our first free to play mobile game yeah, there's mobile in 2002. Yeah, absolutely. Actually, let's. Uh, that should be fine. Personal computer. Uh, there's no mobile. We're not developing for mobile consoles, but we'll pretend. We'll pretend it's a mobile game. Sure, why not? Because it's 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 like Fruit Ninja, right? Um, uh, we need one more AAA console. Is there? Oh, ah, oh, double A. Oh, it's too bad. The mini mini soft box is 2.1 2.6% market share. It's also AAA. Yeah, sure, we'll take that. Sure, it's it's not huge, but sure, why not? Sure, sure. Let's take that. Um, the Midic Soft. And let's complete the game reports. This is going to be a puzzle game. So we want Smash Rocks Bro. We will copy those settings. Let's go to our copy protection. Buy copy protection. HHV. We've got a new one. HHV safe something 2. Protection 2.0. Oh, uh, let's make sure that we buy that. Hold on. No, 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 no. Sorry. Use that. There we go. And uh, I think we're good to go. Let's do for all languages. Let me just double check to make sure I didn't miss anything here. Yeah, no, no. It looks good. Priorities are already set. Let's all features. It's a triple A game. So the maximum we can have is 24 right at this point in time. There's apparently still nine features available out there somewhere. <laughs> there we go. So we're going to. Oh, what's this? Free to play business model. Sneaky fruit assassin dudes online. What feature should cost money? Oh. And then every, so every, every microtransaction item that you pick adds to unpopularity of the business model. Oh, so, so booster packs, pets and mounts, cosmetic items, characters and classes, supporting items, and everything you pick here, it makes that more and more unpopular. Interesting. So this is basically the truth. Like every time free to play is a great model for making money, but people hate it. People hate having to pay for things as they play. It's also very costly for people um, that get serious into the game. So I think we'll go back down to, wait a tick. So let's, so if we start at the beginning, okay, so two, okay. So let's just do booster packs, pets and mounts and cosmetic items, maybe characters and classes too as well. Okay, so that would add it to the middle of the line. Ooh, but we'd make eight, $8 per user per month. Yeah, let's do that. So we're going to piss off half the people, but we're going to make $8 per month. I wonder if this is going to affect our fans at all. I don't know, but you know, let's do it. All right, let's try to make some money on this. Okay, let's, let's do this. Let's improve the graphics. Let's do everything on the graphics. And of course, everything on the sound. Sorry, all the standard stuff here, everything on the animation side and then every oh we're not quite done with our game report so that's just about finished come on come on hurry up hurry up we don't have time to waste we're gonna do project coordination cancel coordination for now actually project coordination will do on animation because that usually takes a little bit longer of course of course we're gonna do improve gameplay enable all wonderful how are we doing for sales here we're down to a million copies we've already sold We've already sold almost 2 million copies of Star Slammer. Oh, it's time for an update. Time for an update. Time for an update of Star Slammer. We want to make sure this is continuing to sell at the top, top notch. And we can start lowering the price if it starts to come down too much too as well. That's a, an okay tactic, but we don't want to do that too early. Because we're going to sell, we're going to sell at least 5 million at this price as long as we keep doing updates and stuff. I think, I think we're going to sell a lot of it. Right, so we're still selling 258,000 copies a week. This is crazy. We're gonna have to make we're gonna have to make another 
I don't know, let's make another 2 million copies. I, I'm pretty sure we're gonna sell through. I know that's kind of risky to build so many at a time, but look at, we're, st we're selling a quarter of a million per week. That's insane. Let's do another update too as well so that we can kind of keep that momentum going. Yeah. 1.8 million to, to one, sorry, 1 million to make an update for that. So that's nothing. Honestly, it's a drop in the bucket at this point. Project coordination, I think we're good for that right now. What do we have? 202, we need about $350 million to start working on our next console, which I think we're going to get that just from Star Slammer alone. We'll probably, I mean, it was 100%, guys. 100%. I've never seen that in this game. I didn't even know that was possible. I mean, I thought probably, but that is crazy. So I feel, I'm feeling pretty proud of myself today. We did our first 100% game. That is amazing. We're going to start doing our marketing too as well for our new game, Sneaky Fruit Assassin Dudes Online. <laughs> new fruity, free, fr fruity, fruity, fruity play. I was going to say free to play, but it turned out to, I said fruity play, which is kind of right too as well. It's going to be fruity play. All right. Okay. We're going to start moving our servers back a little bit here so that we can make room for all new servers. This room is going to get hot, man. Can you imagine how hot this room would be? Okay. So let's get a whole bunch of new servers in here. We're probably, I don't know if we're going to have enough room. Oh yeah. We can double it up here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Let's do that. <laughs> I hope these don't cost us money every month. They might, I don't know. Oh yeah, each one cost me 35,000. Okay, so we're a little premature on getting those built, but that's okay. 35,000 each per server. I just, we just saw it just now. So there is a cost to running those, that many servers. Best graphics, oh. Ah, uh, really, we didn't get best graphics? And we didn't get best soundtrack. That's funny, but we still got studio of the year and game of the year. So we're up to 300 and, Oh, we're going to need more customer service people for sure. For sure. Let's hire a couple right now. Sure. Hire staff, office work. Sure. Just whoever. Doesn't really matter. Doesn't really matter. Doesn't really matter. We'll rename these guys next time. Just because I'm more interested in just watching what's going on here right now. This is really exciting. I can't believe how much money we're starting to make. And I can't believe that we actually got 100% on something. 100% on anything is always really good, right? So I'm just, I'm baffled. <laughs> I'm baffled. I didn't know that today would be the day that we get 100% on something. So I'm pretty pleased with, I'm pretty pleased with that. I'm pretty pleased. You know, we can't really sneeze at that. Oh, I wonder. Can, so if these guys start fan campaign, so these guys can work on game fair as well. A different game fair, maybe. So there we go. There we go. So now our fans are happy. I bet you it's, it's one customer service person per hundred thousand fans. I bet you is how it is. So we've got five customer service people. So we're good for a while. I think um, we're out of copies. Holy crap. Hold on, we're, did we just make 2 million copies? We burned through them. We're just about to run out. Holy crap. Let's make another 2 million. We might need, oh my God. We might need, not even get these out in time. Crazy amounts. How many, how many millions of copies are we gonna be able to sell of this? Well, we made it out in time. Wow, this is crazy amounts of money. So another 2 million copies, and we're probably going to sell through on all of those. So I don't know. This is insane. This is madness. We're going to stop automation after this. We're going to do another update for Star Slammer because it's starting to come down now a little bit. We could lower the price, but I don't want to lower the price. I just want to make the game better so that we sell more. The money is insane. The money is madness. Like, we're at, with 2 million copies in the bank, almost 2 million copies, or 1.5 million copies in the bank, we still, we're still at 80 million. So... This game is probably going to end up making us 400 million on its own. On its own. Just amounts of money is, is madness. Total madness. Let's do another game update for Star Slammer. We should maybe just do update after update after update after update. What? We're selling 60,000? What? We went from 200,000 to 60,000? What's going on? How's that even possible? Um, how's that even possible? How are we selling less now? That doesn't make any sense. What happened? Something happened. Updates. Let's just keep pumping out those updates, I guess. That was weird. We were we were selling 200,000 copies, or we were over 100,000 copies a week, and now we're, like, down to... Okay, so maybe we didn't meet, need so many copies, I guess. Uh, let's stop production. Not that it matters. We're right at the end of the, the line there. So we're still going to sell that 2 million, I think, but wow, we were selling so many per week, and then all of a sudden we weren't. So we might have to lower the price on it, but we're not going to do that until we get down uh, a little bit further. We're just going to keep doing updates until we get back up to back up to par here. And we will do a marketing campaign um, on 
Star Slammer and bring that back up to max. Wow, yeah, like we were selling over 200,000 per week and then all of a sudden we weren't. So we're back up to 136,000, but we were not gonna be able to maintain that. We just wanna sell through the copies that we have. But we're already down to a million. We sold another million. I mean, just just like that. Ooh, sneaky fruit assassin dudes online in a brainstorm. Some I some great ideas for the current game have been promised. These should significantly improve the game. Proposed. Sorry, not promised. Wonderful. That's great. Um, let's do another add-on, I guess, or another update. Update. Um, develop game update. Star Slammer. I just want to keep that going. Like. Maybe, maybe, I don't know. I don't know. That's really weird though. I think we're probably safe for a while now. We probably don't need to do another update. Uh, we could lower the price on it, but it is week 31. We're not making nearly as much money on this as I thought we were gonna make, but I mean, we're still making money, but but we're spending a lot on updates and stuff. So yeah, kind of hard to make money when we keep spending money on all that kind of stuff. Project coordination, let's cancel coordination and go towards, um, Let's go towards the development room. I think that's probably the way to go. We're almost done for today, but ah, man, I'm, I'm, I'm really impressed that we got 100% on something, but I'm not impressed with the amount of money we're making on it. I think we're only gonna make like 200 million on this. I don't know, maybe a little bit more. We sold 6.5 million copies, but the amount we spent on marketing and stuff, yeah, it's, I mean, we're still making money on it. We, we can't sneeze on, at that too much. We're about to be, we're about to have enough money to start development on our new console as well, which is super exciting. I can't wait to get that going. Um, we could start removing bugs of, of uh, sneaky fruit assassin dudes already. Might as well get uh, this team working on contracts now. Contract work and auto, yes, for sure. Just keep going on that. Excellent. So we're still selling 100,000 copies a week. I think it just needed a few important updates and then it was sort of consistent a little bit. Um, we are actually down to 284,000 in stock again. Let's build another million. Let's not go too crazy this time. Let's just do a million. <laughs> Even a million's pretty crazy, but yeah, maybe we're down to 83,000. You know what? Let's change the price a little bit let's bring it down a couple bucks there we go bring it down a couple dollars um kind of discount a little bit now that it's been out for 37 weeks why not yeah that'll bring that'll bring the sales to a more consistent level i think just lowering the price just a little bit so sneaky fruit assassin dudes online is almost done our first free to play game ever to go with oh Ah, it's ready to go, but we still need, uh, we still need to get rid of the bugs, so we'll do project coordination. We will do project coordination towards killing those bugs. Bug bash! I'm super excited to see how we do in Sneak and Fruit Assassin Dudes. Hey, we're gonna get two games out this episode. We're so close, we might as well wait now and do two games out this episode. Ah, oh, we're down to 46,000 copies. Really? Even after lowering the price? Now 35,000? Okay, we have to stop... We have to stop automation here. We're gonna have to build some more updates. Wow, they really, this game requires a lot of updates in order to, ma to maintain the pace that we want it to maintain. So, but it is week 41, but we now have a million copies just sitting around. Okay, so we're gonna do a middle booth because we're gonna do, of course, Sneaky Fruit, Assassin's Dude, Star Slammer, and we'll still throw the deluxe box in there, sure as well. And so we got another 24,000 fans, sure. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's get that update out right now. Come on, let's get the update out. We're down to 27,000 copies. Oh no, we gotta lower the price. Price and packaging, let's lower it down to $24. Oh man, man, oh man, maybe, I don't, I don't know if I did something wrong there. I just thought we could maintain that high level for much longer, but I guess not. Let's do another update. We're up to eight updates. This is two million each. So I think that's it for updates. I don't think we're gonna do much more for updates. We just, but we have 887,000 copies to go through still. Yeah, that's a lot of copies, man. We're, we still have 2.73 million people playing Ugumu Vag 2 as well, which is kind of crazy. Uh, we might as well remove the add-on from the market, take game from the market. It barks a lot because we're not selling any more of those. Perfect. We made 13 million on selling the game itself, and then of course we're getting a lot on subscriptions. Bugs are almost done, and then we will end the episode. But uh, yeah, I'm pretty impressed that we got 100% on something. But I thought, well, we still sold we sold 7.17 million copies. I don't know why I'm complaining. That is a lot of copies. But uh, we, I really, we're having trouble selling the last. But we can always remarket them. Uh, we can remarket them as like 24, 24, 23 dollars or something. That should be fine. We'll still make a little bit more money on that. And before we go today, we can also develop a new console, handheld handheld console. This is going to be called for 339 million dollars. This is going to be called the Deluxe Boy. Of course, the Deluxe Boy. 
the deluxe boy yeah of course right and it's going to be green just like the deluxe box was and that's 339 million dollars out of pocket just now <laughs> gone forever let's release this game sneaky fruit assassin's dude online um, oh, wow, 11,000 in gameplay. That's crazy. I've never seen a number like that. That's crazy. So we broke that in uh, technology, broke the record in technology too. Release as download. Oh, I've never seen that before. So people just download it now? So we don't have to build copies? What? Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. 85. Oh, wow, we're breaking the 90s. Oh, yes, this is going to be really good. And we're going to get people sucked in. So good genre com combination, graphic sound, graphics are great, they're the best I've seen in some time, the sound is the best I've ever heard, this is a new standard in sound, the controls define perfection, these are the best controls I've seen in a game, the game shows its strengths during gameplay, well done, this game is a smash hit, real candidate for game of the year, we've got game of the month again, and we got fun award, so how does that work then, so, oh my god, so people are just downloading it, we don't have to build copies of this? So it's just active player. What? So they are going into our server server room. Their game has been praised by the press and fans around the world love it. With this game, you have set a new trend. So now the trend is puzzle and skill. Guys, we gotta call that an episode. I hope you're enjoying this game. Crazy things are happening. Crazy things are happening. I love it. All right, take care. Bye.